everybody, it's Bunny. How is your October the 7th going? Come on, tell me. I'm all ears. Today I'm dealing with a situation I'd like to call, I hope it's not a sty. I can't really do any makeup today. All previous plans were canceled, but I've been getting bed rest. Not sure what that's gonna do for my eye. I've been having strange nightmares. I wonder what it means if you just jump over the edge of a waterfall. Hopefully I'm not gonna die. I surprisingly like <laughs> Okay, that was odd. Anyway, on to the actual subject matter of today's video, which uh, I got a box from NYX today and the contents inside are going to save my life. I've been seeing these really interesting posts that they've been doing on Instagram. And I think that this is their like holiday, hol 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 holiday, 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 Halloween campaign. There we go. If you keep trying, you're gonna get there one day, kiddos. They've been doing kind of like an Alice in Wonderland, glow in the dark, black light themed thing. The re- the- I can't say- It's not. Today. The real V. Neil uh, did all the makeup for their campaign photos. If you don't know who she is, look her up. She was a fellow judge when I was a judge on the NYX Face Awards a couple of years ago. It was just so much fun to meet her in real life. Uh, she's an amazing makeup artist, uh, special effects. She's done Beetlejuice. She did the Penguin in uh, Batman. Tons of stuff. Ton everything you've ever watched. I think she did Edward Scissorhands also. You open it up and it looks like nothing. Ooh, exciting. Oh, it's like stuck down. Sand help to die. Sand help. I need help. Somebody help me, please. Inside the box is this really awesome mirror. Ooh, yes. Very gothic. Trey Spooky. Look at yourself. We also have this little special flashlight and then the PS de Resistance, which is the subject matter of today's video. We have three black light glowing lip glosses, which how, how did this happen? I didn't even know it was possible to make black light responsive or possibly glow in the dark makeup, but they've done it. Let me go ahead and turn out all the lights. This room is very scary with no lights on. And, oh, wait, that's the regular flashlight. Let's do it again. Oh, can you guys see this? There's like a magical hidden design in the box. Oh, yes. Whoo! You guys, I'm not lying. This is like the scariest room in this house. I'm kind of curious, what do they look like when they're on? And also, what are they gonna look like really with the black light? Like, is it going to be super glowing? Is it just a suggestion of glowing? <sighs> Smells like nothing. So let's go ahead and put the lilac one on first. It's been a hot minute since I've done any lip swatching videos. Ew! Now, the only drawback is I hate the way the lip gloss feels. You guys know lip gloss to me is Satan's consort. So I doubt if I'm gonna like how this feels just on principle of I hate them all. But to me, if it like glows in the dark, glows under black light, I am willing to sacrifice my feelings to have a cool effect on my face. You know what I mean? The feeling of lip gloss is not that bad. Like if I just don't talk, eat, gesture, breathe. Anytime I, anytime I say butt, like if I was like butts, um, like anything that requires my lips to do that, it's like, oh, like a feeling enters my body and I don't quite know how to describe it. Just my whole face glowing? What's happening here? You guys, do y'all see anything? Okay, it doesn't like hold a glow. <laughs> like I'm like, wait, do I charge it up like other glow in the dark things? <laughs> Is it just not meant to be caught on camera? Oh yes, oh my God. Because like I see it in person. How am I gonna show you guys? Oh my God, oh. Oh, it looks so cool. I'm just not sure if it's like video camera ready. Is this like something I'm not supposed to shine directly inside of my retinas? I'm sort of becoming concerned about that. Is it like a laser pointer? I remember when those things first came out in the 90s and they were like, don't ever look at a laser pointer. All the kids would come to school with a laser pointer and shine them inside of each other's eyes. And I would just be cowering 
in the corner of the classroom, like, uh, like that. It was fun, fun times, good stuff. That is why I was so popular. I had so many friends growing up. It is glowing awesomely in person. At first I couldn't tell. I really had to roll back and just look at my reflection in the mirror versus the camera viewfinder because this one was actually glowing a really bright pink color and it is truly awesome to behold. I would imagine if you were like at a club or a rave or something like that, Ooh. Everybody would be like, who's that one with the shiny lips? Maybe that's not what people are going for. Let's uh, wipe this one off, swatch the other one, see what it looks like, and if we can get any of them to show up for you guys, because that would be great. That would be the point of this entire video. Let's all listen to this. Oh, yes. I love this hot, bright, vibrant pink. If this was matte, I would be on this like ants on a sugar hill. Ants on a sugar hill. That can't be the way that saying goes. I'm not sure if this shade is overall more black light glow responsive or if I just figured out better ways to uh, like work with the camera and the black light to really get it to shine and show off better to you guys. Glow in the dark items are like that a lot too. Like if you get something that is white colored or yellow colored that's supposed to glow in the dark, it often does glow and shine better than like pink things or blue things that's supposed to glow in the dark. I think maybe because this is just like a brighter, lighter, color. I think it glows a little bit better. Let's see what Violent Violet is going to do. As far as lip gloss goes, these are all very pigmented and very opaque. You can also somehow layer this product. So the pink one at first went on just a little bit sheer, but I was able to just reapply like a second coat and it became extremely opaque. But these two uh, darker, more purple shades, they go on like just with first application, very, very opaque. Now that we've tried out all three of them, I think we can say that the one that glows the brightest is this bright pink one. The one that glows the second brightest is the lilac lighter purple one. And then kind of the least glowing one, in my opinion, is the uh, dark purple one, which is the violet one, the one that I have on now. The kind of crazy thing is, despite the colors of lip gloss being three different colors, the color that it glows roughly looks the same every time I'm looking at it. I really hope that I got some good footage for you guys that hopefully y'all will really be able to see what the glow looks like. Um, I would think you would either have to have a black light pretty much directly shining on your face or it would have to be like super bright black light all the way around. Like maybe if you were in a club or something where like the whole space was black light glowing. I think then you would be able to see it really well. Um, but when I had the light right on my lips, each color was reflecting to me in the mirror as like a bright neon pink glow. I am pretty impressed with this stuff. I don't know what's in it to make it black light reactive and glowing, but it is super fun for the season. Or like I keep saying, if you're somebody that likes to go to like, you know, are you a raver? Do you like to go to festivals? I can't even think of what they're called now. Raves? Are they all called raves? This was a super fun product to test out today. Let me know if there's any other like Halloween makeup products on the market that you guys would like for me to test out. I know that it's like a first impression Friday type thing and uh, it's Monday. So depending on if you're like a half, half full glass, half empty glass kind of person. Am I either really late for last Friday or am I really early for this Friday? It's been so long since I've done any like lip swatching videos. So hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing this product as much as I enjoyed testing it out. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today, this seventh day of Vlogoween. And I cannot wait to see you guys again tomorrow. I love y'all so, so much. Uh, bye.